everyone. Um, I am back to show you the head. We are working on Olaf's head in crochet. And um, I had created another video, but it wasn't really clear. So I'm hoping that I can make this video clear and concise on how we are going to form this upper lip area right here. Um, that's how it's going to turn out to look. But we are working with just a little head that I had um, I had made on its own so that I could show you because my last tutorial got a little sketchy. But um, this is basically where we're at right here and we're going to start forming the lip. If you have not gotten to the point where you're in the front right section of your head, then you want to get there by single crocheting around till you get to this section right here. You can use a stitch marker or not. Um, that's up to you. When I use a stitch marker, I simply put a piece of yarn right in front of my first stitch and I crochet over it so that I know where my first stitch begins. But up to this point we've single crocheted our rounds um, per the pattern. When we get to the front here, you're going to want to count out about six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. And his mouth is going to go obviously along the front here. What we're going to do is we're going to front post double crochet around each of the next six single crochets. So it's going to be a little tight, but you're going to work your you're going to work your hook in the front of these stitches and through. Pardon me, we're double crocheting. So we're going to yarn over, work our crochet hook in and through that first single crochet. And we're going to do a double crochet here. If we can. I'm sorry, this is all pretty tight here. All right. We're going to do that six times. So we're going to yarn over. We're going to go into this next single crochet. This is our second one. into the next one. Oops. Third. And we're on our fourth. Yarn over into our fifth. And like I said, it is a little tight. We are going to be stuffing this, so you want your stitches to be fairly tight going around. It's going to look kind of spacey in some areas. Don't worry about that. It's all going to come together. And then into our sixth. Okay. So we've created a little ledge here with our double crochets. You can see how it kind of jets out and the lighting's not so great, I'm sorry. But we are going to go into our next stitch with a single crochet. And then we're going to single crochet around until we get back to our stitch marker. Oops. Okay, we're coming to our little lip ledge again. Alright, now we need to tie this back into the pattern. We've got double crochets here along with single crochets. Um, and we need to stuff this, obviously we need to pull this in without pulling it up. 
because that would defeat the purpose of having a little ledge there. So go ahead and take out your stitch marker. I'm going to go ahead and do one single crochet, or you can replace your stitch marker if you would like. Excuse me. Take it out, replace it, and then single crochet back over that stitch marker. All right. How we're going to do that is we front post double crocheted for this to create our ledge. Now we're going to back post double crochet to hook it in with our pattern. So we're going to go yarn over. We're going into the back to the back part of that first post and through. And then we're going to pull through and double crochet. We're going to do that to each of those. So there's six. Oops. And sometimes it's a little bit of a struggle to and then into our last oh. I'm sorry not trying to give you a headache here six okay now to get back on track with our pattern and to give just a little poof to the sides of the mouths in our next stitch We are going to add two single crochets. So increase in this next stitch. And then we're going to go into one single crochet into your next stitches. And we're going to do two single crochets into that stitch right before you started your ledge. So we're going to go okay this was our first stitch here we want to do two excuse me two single crochets in to this. stitch right there. Okay. Now by increasing with the two single crochets, you should be at 18 single crochets around. We were at 16, you should be at 18 now. And from here, excuse me, you see how we've created our ledge and this is where our felt mouth the black felt mouth is going to go in the teeth and then you're going to go ahead and follow the pattern from there from going through your ledge and increasing up to 18 stitches from here just go back into your pattern and work the rest of your head and you will achieve your Olaf head in the end See ya!